So today I want to uh, show you a tutorial uh, in the book Starting Out with Java. Uh, we are in chapter 14 and this uh, tutorial is all about the programming uh, challenge number one. This programming challenge will uh, focus on uh, Java FX because the entire chapter talks about Java FX, how to create a GUI, graphical user interfaces in, in Java using Java FX. So this uh, programming challenge is, the description says, you, we have to create a program that asks the user uh, to enter a wholesale price, and then uh, mark up a, a percentage, then calculate the, uh, the retail price of that item. So we will create a, a program A Java class we we'll call retail price calculator, and in order to get the Java FX, uh, we will we will inherit uh, or extend our class to the superclass called application. This uh, class has one mandatory method called start, so you have to implement this. So the, the first uh, uh, thing we have to show is the, um, first we have to add the title for the uh, graphic. We say retail uh, price calculator. Uh, and lastly, we'll say stage show. Then we will write uh, the label for the wholesale. We we'll say wholesale price, and we will copy this, paste it here. We'll say markup. Markup percentage. And between them, we'll say uh, text uh, field T1 for the text field for uh, whole, pri whole price. Um, we will copy this and paste it here. We'll say T2. So these are the, uh, the two text fields and the two labels for um, wholesale and markup. Then we will create a grid pane. Grid pane is similar to the um, uh, J panel of the uh, Java Swing, if you are familiar well with Java Swing uh, uh, GUI. So the grid pane will require, uh, we have to set the size, spin size. We will have 400 pixels wide, 200 pixels high. We will set um, the alignment to center. We will also uh, set the gap horizontally and vertically to five. Um, then what else? Uh, we also have to add uh, baddings, batting uh, on all sides set batting we we'll say inset so we'll give 10 pixels all around so this is the entire uh, grid pane so we have to add these uh, four um, components to the uh, grid pane so we'll say grid pane add the first would be the wholesale label it will sit, uh, it will have zero uh, column and zero row. Then we will add the text field for the whole cell, we'll say one, zero. GB add, it will mark up, it will have zero, one. GB add, T2, one, one. 
and after that we have to create a scene the scene would be a scene new scene and the scene will take as an argument the grid pane and we have to add the the scene to the stage set scene and after that we have to create another another grid pane so you are going to borrow uh, copy this and it will say paste it here it will say uh, grid pane grid pane but we don't want to have 400 we only need 200 of 200 wide and uh, 50 high everything else would be the same we don't actually need the the vertical gap because there will only be two um, items the two buttons we'll say button say clear So copy this and we'll say calc for the calculate button. So after that, you're going to say grid pane, add the clear, it, it will sit the left and it will uh, calc. Calc will sit on the right. And then we have to add this grid pane to this grid pane. And JP add grid pane. And we'll say one, two. And after we create all the components, you have to create the main method here. BSM, uh, BSVM, then launch, then args. So let's uh, see if the components are displaying right, in the right way. What's the issue? Okay, here's the, here's the problem. Okay, everything is displaying right. Nothing will happen if I click either of these, but you're going to work on this now. So what we're gonna do is, uh, you're gonna say talk. You're gonna add an uh, event listener to the, to the button set on action E and then you're gonna add the try catch catch um, exception you're not gonna add anything to the exception so we have to get the whatever the user entered in the uh, um, wholesale text field. So we'll say w equal uh, double uh, parse. Then you're going to say uh, string value of what are we going to say here? Yeah. T1 get text. 
So you can copy this, paste, and, and you're going to get the markup, uh, whatever the uh, user enters. Then we have to calculate the markup. The markup would be uh, markup would be m divided by one hundred times the wholesale price. Then we will um, divide. Uh, we will um, calculate the retail price. The retail price would be wholesale plus markup. After that, you have to create the alert to uh, show the user uh, the retail price. You say alert, alert type, confirmation. So here we're going to say alert show, alert uh, title, retail uh, price, then alert uh, set content. So the first thing we will uh, show is the wholesale price. Say string value of W then we're gonna say uh, markup value of uh, markup And lastly, we're going to show the total, the, the retail price. So this is the uh, calculate button. We will, we will, we will write the clear button uh, functionality. But now we just. You just see how the program works. So the wholesale price maybe is one hundred. We mark up 10% uh, when we click calculate. You can see it's uh, 100 for wholesale, uh, $10 uh, for markup, and 110 is a retail price. How about if we say 2700, 8.03% markup? Two hundred and sixteen dollar and eighty one cents markup um, twenty nine sixteen eighty one um, retail price. How about the clear? The clear button doesn't do anything because we haven't haven't uh, write anything. So we're gonna say clear set on action e. This this would be easy. We can say you can say um, T one T one set 
text to um, to nothing and you're gonna say t2 set text to nothing and essentially you are going erasing whatever the user typed earlier if he if he typed anything so you're gonna uh, run one more time and you're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what uh, is the result. My computer is slow, takes for a while. So let's say uh, 100, 10%. It shows what to expect. How about when we hit clear? So you can see it cleared out the text fields. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see similar videos, uh, if you want uh, text uh, book programming challenges, uh, tutorials, uh, please subscribe. Please uh, give this video a like. If you have any programming uh, questions, if you have any uh, challenge that you cannot uh, solve it, um, let me know. Or write it down in the comment section, and uh, I will try to uh, to solve it for you. Thank you and I'll see you next time.